Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are showcasing Parasol, another one of the four new Yokai Lumians introduced recently to the game. This is the set we are running, we are running Brawny Robust with a Shade Shell. Our whole goal is to just kind of use Revolution and nuke something. Do or Die is here to boost our damage even further. And this is the TPs we are running. 84 energy will give me 250 energy. Wait, no, I think it's 250. It is 250 energy. 250 energy at level 50. 96 health is leftovers. 120 melee attack and 120 uh, melee defense for some extra bolt. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the Coliseum. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, here we are fighting Paro 3. Let's see his team. Okay, oh, he's running a fully green team. Very nice, very, very nice. So immediately we, we, we have to bring Parasol. I don't know about leading with it because of a few certain Lumians. We're gonna bring Luminami and I, I think uh, I think Land Torch would be really good against this team. We are gonna need to bring something to help deal with that Krakaloa, which is probably Soul Burst. Uh, we could bring Metatoad. It's not going to be able to do much against it, but it will at the very least. Ah, uh, no, that's an awful idea. Gargola might be a must here. We could we could bring Venolin. Venolin wouldn't be a bad option. You know what? We're going to lead Lantorch since we have Flash and Flea if we need to pivot. Okay, Garlash. Now... It is very, very tempting to click Fire Breath and try to predict the Tatap -tap swap in, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to hard swap the Parasol. I wish we clicked Fire Breath, but I didn't want to risk it. Did not want to risk it. Yep, I could have predicted that. Oh, okay. He uh, is thriving pace, I assume. I think, since we have melee bulk, I think we will live a hit, so we could revolution here. We're gonna take a risk, we're gonna revolution. He actually- okay, he gets paralyzed, that is actually perfect, we get our revolution off. Jade Shell is gonna do a lot of damage to it. I wish that we would have been able to, uh, get the two times damage from- not from moving- or from getting hit. But I'm not gonna complain too much, Parasol has already put in some work. Krakaloa comes in. This is actually A-OK -okay with me because we have Wave Wrecker. So we could just stay in. He's going to Soul Burst. Oh, no, he's not going to Soul Burst. Okay. And it was a critical hit. Oh, my God. Parasol is doing some work here. Probably due to luck. I mean, we have kind of lucked out a good bit. Mage Knot comes in. Now, no, we are not staying in against this. Or do we? Or do we? Oh, wait, that, that's that, that's a nice little detail. Whenever you actually use an item, it shows up in the Coliseum now that you, that you don't have the item anymore. Finally. Okay, here's what, what we're going to do here. We're going we're gonna to hard swap to Venolin. And we are just going to try to shackle it. They don't have any Lumians on their team that can Soul Burst, so we get to Shackle something. It just goes for Magnify. I guess we could have stayed in there, but I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna risk it. The Bunga Coffee Phage Knot, quite the interesting set. It's still getting shackled. Or or it's just or something else is gonna get shackled. Now what will come in? I don't mind shackling something. Garbantis, yep, that is now shackled. That has now been shackled. Yep, take my heavy shackles and give me your heavy armor. Now we're, we're just going to hard swap right back in Illuminami. We don't want to really send out Parasol here because of a battering ram. Yep, battering ram. Not that's not gonna do too much. And now Luminami outspeeds it, and we can just start tsunami. And we can just tsunami it. And what's gonna come back in? Garlash comes back in. We're gonna have to flash and flee here into. Um, we can flash and flee into Land Torch. The shade shell. When the shade pearl is gonna let us live this Mega Chomp, and we will regain a good little bit of that. A little bit of that health. 
and now this is and it's now in killing range of flare so we can just start sending off some flares i think land torch can actually clean up this team yep that's garlash down and <coughs> god that was an awful And what is he sending next? Probably Phage Knot. Yep, the Phage Knot. I don't think Phage Knot wants to really... Wait, could we clean up here? Jolt? Yeah, that's not going to do a ton. I think we live one... I think we can live one Jolt. And then... Yeah, yeah, he uses Jolt again. We live that. Flare takes it out, and I think Lantorch can just use one last Flare and kill his last remaining Lumion, which is Garbantis. So yes, because we are because we are boots, this thing will outspeed, and bye bye goes the Garbantis, and he forfeits. GG Paro, GG Paro. All right, here we are fighting Cordy A32. Let's see his team. Okay, so he's using two of the new Yokai Lumions, Lantorch and Bywarned. I think it's pronounced Bywarned. So we're gonna bring our we have to bring uh parasol we have to it's a parasol showcase video we're gonna bring our own land torch and i think nevermare is gonna be a really good option here i can see it being very good for a for a, for, a, ugh, for quite a few of these lumians we're gonna we're gonna bring gargolem speed and what will be what will be the best thing we can bring here maybe maybe uh metatoad maybe metatoad will be a good option in fact i think metatoad lead might actually be really good here because we can honestly just tase anything here i don't really notice anything other than wendelin that would like uh that would really be an issue he might even lead with Bywarn for the motivational boost. No, he did not. He sent out Zulong immediately. That's actually fine because I think one slap, I think one sight, I think a slap down just beats it to death. So if it stays in, it's dead. Ancient Roar. Yeah, I expected that. We get some chip damage off. He might swap into Wendelin. I think Wendelin. I'm going to predict it. Wendelin. No, buy warned. That is okay. That 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 is fine with me. Because we could always just slap down and get rid of its health amulet. Yeah, we're gonna slap down. We're gonna slap down. Other than spectral burst, buy warned can't do much to us, and it's not stab boosted. Plus, it's a motivational set, so we don't have to worry about it doing too much damage. Because it's probably more defensive than anything. Florant comes in. That's going to take some decent damage from Slapdown. And we got rid of its Drain Orb, which that's uh, that's amazing. We could even tase it. You know what? We're going to tase it. We're going to tase it. Poison, we're fine with that because we tase it. It's just, uh, we just traded statuses. And I, I mean, hey, I'm fine with Florent not being, able to, not being able to move a fourth of the time. Okay, I think the best swap in here, we could swap into Lantorch, because I don't see it being able to do much to Lantorch. Gargolem's an absolute no, Parasol's a no, Nevermare would have been okay, but I think we just want, we, we, we just want to bring in Lantorch. Lantorch is, would be good here. Pestilence is not going to be able to do all that much damage, since we can just, we're, we're just going to kill it. Yeah, we're just gonna kill the Florant here with Fire Breath. If something swaps in, it's gonna take some damage. He does go for dodge. I feel like I should have predicted that. But that's fine. It's not gonna be able to dodge again. He does he does withdraw into Bywarned. So that is gonna take a little bit of damage from Fire Breath. We take a good we take a little bit of damage here. We, we do take quite a good bit of damage but i'd say that might have been worth it we probably could swap into parasol here trying to predict the uh maybe the spectral burst i feel like that's what that, i feel like the, it could go for that high pitch screech that's gonna do some damage to us 
And it gets a critical hit too, so that's a shame. We could fade away or revolution. We're going to revolution. Because he might try to stay in and try to kill the parasol. So we could just use this. What does he swap into? Floran. Florant's not going to be able to do much. Shade, you have Shade Shell, should make it take some pretty decent damage. And now we're just, now we outspeed, so we're just going to fade away. We absolutely outspeed here. And uh, I think, I think we can just go into, I feel like he's going to go for poison again. So we're going to go into Metatode. I just get the feeling. Yep, poison made his uh made his move completely invalid. And now we are just going to go for a slap down. Dodge. Okay, yeah, I maybe I should have waited. I feel like I should have known he would have dodged by now. by now. You know what we actually no, we could just kill with Electro Punch just to save some energy. He tried going for the double dodge, failed it. That's perfectly fine with me. Now we have enough energy. We have enough energy for one more Electro Punch or a Taze. So depending on whatever comes in, it could, we could just paralyze it. Wendelin comes in. I don't know if Wendelin will kill us. And I don't know if Wendelin will kill us, but I think we might need to just sack Metatode or hope that uh, we live a hit and get a Taze. Wendell and use Mega Chomp. I feel like that's going to kill. That is going to kill us. Now, now we can just go into... Uh, oh, wait, no, no, no. Shadow Sprint's going to kill Land Torch in one hit. We could go into... Ne Nevermare is the best option here. Nevermare is the best option. We're just going to have... We're going to have to... Uh, we could Primal Slash or Phantom Slash. Phantom Slash will do more damage, but Primal Slash is already kind of guaranteed to... Already kind of guaranteed to kill, I think. So we, so we just Primal Slash. We'll see what he does. Zulong comes in, so that's perfectly fine with us. We Primal Slashed. And that kills the Zulong with a critical hit. That is their Zulong down. That is perfect with me. They send out the Wind Tricks. That's an issue. I don't know if we... Yeah, we don't really have a ton to help with the Wind Tricks. We could sack... We might just have to sack Parasol. And then go into Land Torch. So that's exactly what we're going to have to do here. Yeah, Brain Freeze, that's not going to do all that much. Or, well, I'm, 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 no, what, what the, wait, what do I mean that's not going to do all that much? I just killed it. I'm an idiot. I apologize, my brain is not functioning. Anyway, we just bring in Land Torch. And now we can just start going for Fire Breast. So Zulong can't swap into this because it's dead. Let's see what they do here. I don't know what could really swap in. They might even just have to sack the Wintrix. Wintrix gets swapped out, but into what? Into Byworn. I think another Fire Breath could take out the Byworn. Yeah, I think I, I think one more Fire Breath could actually take it out. And if it doesn't, that's perfectly fine because it. If it doesn't, that's perfectly fine, because Nevermare can just come back in. So we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Come on, game. Come on, game. Give us give us the high roll we need, and we didn't get it. That is a shame. And it hypnotizes us. That's always a pain. So now... Ah, yeah, but that's not, that's not nice. That is not good for us. Unless we can wake up first turn, but that's a little unlikely. Yep, we don't get woken up. It probably just kills us here. Yep, high pitch screech. That's just gonna kill us. I don't even know why they went for the hypnotize. That was a waste of energy. But never. Actually, we could just send in Gargolem. Gargolem could also be sent in, but we might want to save the Clutch Plushie. Yeah, we're gonna save the Clutch Plushie. We are just gonna go for a. We could just go for Thistle Slash. That might... Wait, no. We're going to go for another Primal Slash. We're going to go for another Primal... Yeah. Just in case he swaps out. 
Spy Warned is dead. Now their motivational. Now their motivation is gone. Which that didn't really make a big difference. Now we are kind of forced to just go for Thistle Slash. Wait, what item do we have? Yeah, we're, we got to go for Thistle Slashes here. I don't know if we can kill the Wintrix. I doubt it. But if, as long as we can get it into killing, or we can just live the hit and just go for another attack. As long as it's in killing range for Gargolem, we, winning this is still possible. Or we can just straight up kill the Wintrix this turn. Uh, regardless, Wendelin's going to Shadow Sprint. So that's going to be a bit of a pain. I think we... Wait, no. Oh, wait, no. I think we still lose this. Yeah, I, th I think we actually lose this because of, um... Because of Shadow Sprint. Or we can just... Wait, does this... It didn't have a Clutch Plushie. Never mind. I naturally assumed it had uh, Shadow Sprint and Clutch Plushie. Before I end this video, I'd like to quickly announce I'm having a giveaway for five PvP parasols in my Discord server below, which will be pinned in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.